As parents, we all want our children to grow up to be happy and successful individuals, but sometimes it can be a challenge to know how to set boundaries that will help them achieve that. In this video, we will explore the importance of setting boundaries for kids, and provide you with practical tips and examples on how to do it effectively. So, sit back, relax and let's dive into the world of parenting and boundary setting. First, let's talk about why setting boundaries for kids is important. Boundaries are a necessary part of parenting because they help children understand what is and is not acceptable behavior. They also provide a sense of security and stability for kids, and can help them develop self-control and self-esteem. When setting boundaries, it's important to remember that they should be age-appropriate and consistent. For example, a three-year-old child would have different boundaries than a teenager. It's also important to be consistent in enforcing the boundaries, so that children know what to expect. Use I statements. When setting boundaries, using I statements can be an effective way to communicate to your child that the boundary is set by you, the parents, and not just a rule they have to follow. Instead of saying you can't do that, say I don't allow that behavior in our house. This helps children understand that the boundary is set by the parent and not just a rule that they have to follow. It also puts the focus on the parent's role in setting the boundary rather than the child's behavior. Use natural consequences. Natural consequences are a way to teach children about cause and effect. Instead of imposing a punishment, natural consequences allow children to experience the direct result of their actions. For example, if a child doesn't pick up their toys, they may not be able to play with them the next day. This helps children understand that their actions have consequences and that they are responsible for their own behavior. It also teaches children to take responsibility for their actions and to think about the consequences before making a decision. Set time limits for technology use. Technology is an ever-present part of our lives and can be a great tool for learning and entertainment. However, it's important to set limits on how much time children spend on technology. This can help children learn to balance their time and prioritize other activities. Setting time limits for technology use can also help reduce the risk of addiction and other negative effects associated with excessive screen time. Set safety boundaries. Safety should always be a top priority when setting boundaries for children. For example, not allowing children to play in the street or talk to strangers. These boundaries help protect children from harm and help them learn to make safe choices. It's also important to teach children about stranger danger, what to do in case of an emergency and how to stay safe in different situations. Teach respect for others. Teaching children respect for others is a crucial part of setting boundaries. Children should be taught to respect the boundaries and personal space of others. For example, children should be taught not to touch other people's things without asking, or to keep their hands to themselves. This helps children understand that everyone's boundaries are different and that they should be respected. It also teaches children to be considerate of others and to think about the impact their actions might have on others. Set boundaries around physical contact. Children should be taught what types of physical contact are appropriate and what types are not. For example, children should be taught that it is not okay to hit, kick, or push others. This helps children understand that physical contact can be harmful and that it should only be done with consent. It also teaches children about personal boundaries and how to respect them. Set boundaries around language. Language can be a powerful tool, but it can also be hurtful. Children should be taught that certain words or phrases are not appropriate to use, such as swear words or name calling. This helps children understand the impact their words can have on others and the importance of using kind and respectful language. Set boundaries around honesty. Honesty is an important value that should be taught to children. Children should be taught the importance of telling the truth and the consequences of lying. This helps children understand the importance of trust and integrity in relationships and the negative effects of dishonesty. Set boundaries around responsibility. Children should be taught to take responsibility for their actions and to make amends when necessary. This helps children understand that they are accountable for their actions and that they can make a positive difference in the world. It also teaches children to think about the impact their actions might have on others and to take steps to correct any mistakes or wrongs they may have done. Set boundaries around sharing. Sharing is an important social skill that should be taught to children. Children should be taught to share their toys and other belongings with others. This helps children understand the importance of generosity and kindness and that they should not hoard things for themselves. 
It also teaches children to think about others and to be considerate of their needs. Finally, it's important to remember that setting boundaries is a process and that it may take time for children to understand and follow them. As parents, we should be patient and understanding and be willing to adjust boundaries as needed. In conclusion, setting boundaries for kids is an important part of parenting. By providing children with clear and consistent boundaries, we can help them understand what is and is not acceptable behavior and teach them how to make safe and respectful choices. We hope that this video has provided you with some useful tips and examples on how to set boundaries for kids. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.